think are you know some of the challenges with people adopting the technology you know i think it really comes down to balancing the convenience of the technology with the safety and and trust so as the technology is out there and, and more and more people are using it and becomes both safer and uh, well trusted by the public but also much more convenient than than alternatives i think we'll see more and more people choosing uh, to adapt this new technology. Yeah, I think the trust element is spot on. You know, I also think people are a lot more critical of how the car drives, right? And when you're sitting in an autonomous car, suddenly you're <laughs> more calibrated and noticing the finest, you know, yes. elements of driving. I know you always think of this, Andrea, like when you're in the car, like what is the ideal user experience? Like what do you think we need to prioritize? When I think of a great user experience, it's stress-free. I'm showing up at the airport. I don't want to have to think about the car I'm getting into. Is it going to be clean? Is it going to be comfortable? Am I going to have to talk to the driver? I just want to get in and not worry about it. I love how the vehicle handles these turns just as a professional driver would. Yeah, this specific drop-off uh, is pretty complicated, I feel. Like there's always someone parked around, there's people walking on the street, and the car kind of navigates through that. It's magical. And it's so smooth. 